All right, could the future of space exploration come to Jacksonville? It's a question we've been kind of kicking around today. <laughs> we have it. Take a look live right now at Jacksonville Beach. This is really beautiful, of course. This time next year, right off this coast, the Tampa-based company called Seagate Space could bring a platform to launch rockets. Our Zach Wilcox joins us live from Jack's Beach now. And Jack's, we could see rockets going off behind you. I mean, really, come on, tell us about this. I know, Jessica, I want to be clear that they don't have any scheduled launches at this point in Jacksonville, but it is one of the areas they're interested as they get the ball rolling here. And I want to also specify that we're not talking about a launch platform on the shore on the sand. We're talking about miles out at sea from here. But it really does sound like science fiction, doesn't it? And we talked with some folks who are at the beach today just to get their knee jerk reactions to this idea. Right, and you drive pretty far and work pretty hard and they may or may not go. With a stepson who works for NASA, Kathy Hughes has made her fair share of trips down to Titusville to support him, only to turn right back around on those occasions where the launches are scrubbed. It'd be a lot easier to come five miles out at the beach and, and watch, especially a night launch. That would be cool. That reality may not be far off after Seagate Space, with leaders based in the Tampa and Jacksonville areas, announced a plan for a rocket launch platform out in the ocean. I reached out to Sean Fortner, the chief operating officer for Seagate Space, who said their concept for an offshore launch pad, quote, improves safety, expands available launch windows, and relieves congestion at oversubscribed land-based spaceports. The idea brings its fair share of questions. How are they going to get a rocket to the pad? I don't know how they're going to stabilize it. Fortner says the platform isn't fixed to one location, which, quote, allows us to operate where demand is greatest without being tied to a single geography. I guess first thoughts are still, um, ecology, is there any impact on the ocean, the ocean life, the sea turtles? Fortner says Seagate is working with the University of South Florida to determine the environmental impact of rocket recovery from the coast versus sea-based platforms. While there are no plans for a launch in Jacksonville at the moment, Fortner says, quote, due to Jacksonville's strategic positioning for the logistics industry, we are highly interested in growing our presence here in the future. Kind of fun to come out here and watch a launch from our beach. And I think it'll bring a lot more people to the beach. And Seagate told our partners at the Jacksonville Business Journal that they're hoping to start construction by the middle of 2026 and get a rocket in the air by the end of next year. So we'll just have to keep our eyes in the sky and see if Jacksonville becomes one of those locations. At Jack's Beach, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News on your side.